welterweight matchup between Jorge Masvidal and Nick Diaz. All right, here he is, and still one of the biggest stars in the sport, DC. Nick Diaz back for the first time in a long time, and the fans are excited to see what he can do. You know he's coming in shape, so we'll see how it goes for him tonight. Nick Diaz will always be prepared to fight because when he's away, he's competing in triathlons. He's staying in shape. He's swimming. He's riding his bike. He's doing so many things. He's constantly grappling. He has his own academy. Outstop him. A guy that's never too far away from mixed martial arts. Nick Diaz has competed in some of the biggest fights in mixed martial arts history. And tonight, he looks to leave his mark again. So here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal turned pro in mixed martial arts back in 2003. More than 45 pro MMA fights to his credit. Seems to have finally found the division in which he belongs and trying to make a run here to welterweight title contention. At welterweight, he has a speed advantage. He also can still defend takedowns very, very effectively. If you want to fight, get an octagon. Get a boxing ring. Let's go in someone's backyard. Yeah. It does not matter. Just tell Jorge Masvidal where it's at. He'll be there. This is a fighter's fighter, and he's always looking for a good scrap. And that's why when Leon Edwards confronted him backstage, had to give him the three-piece in the soda, right? He got him with a biscuit. <laughs> he got him with the biscuit. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change positions to secure top. Beautiful strike. Masvidal's hook to the body there. His block shot looked pretty good, but ultimately the defense was there. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, Masvidal in a real flow here, sticking and moving. Crowd is like just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hands. The one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with is he never allows you to trap him. He thinks he's out of trap to try to hit the core takedown. He evades and escapes. He's a phenomenal fighter. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Diaz gets caught with that punch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Nice head kick. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Big power shot there. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, elbow to the head right out of the clinch. Good work there by Diaz. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here. And really nice job to finish the takedown there. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Attempting a choke now. Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and there's the 
horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Nice kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Beautiful straight punch there by Diaz. Oh, he's hurt. He's got him right here. He's done. He's done. Oh. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, it's, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he beat Nate Diaz. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Diaz. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Diaz gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, nice. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Won't finish his fight. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. All right, single collar tie now. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, <laughs> stop it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Whoa! What a round. Oh, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious... All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous Ready? 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight is been so close. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Diaz. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Oh! Now, certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eagle Davis going to stop for this contest. 
at one minute, four seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nick Diaz! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his